Now, conditional probability given by the formula probability of B given A is equal to P of A and B all over P of A. Now, don't get too intimidated and don't get uh, too hang up with uh, the formula because when you're dealing with conditional probability in table form, it's all about understanding your question and understanding how they worded out the problem. And you'll understand it with the pattern that I'm going to show you for answering problems one through five. So it gets easier as we move on to more examples. So in this particular table, um, they asked a group of 545 students from sixth grade up until eighth grade, and they asked them about their favorite winter sports. And this is the table. Now for our first conditional probability question, what is the probability of selecting a student whose favorite sport is skiing? Now, if you're just going to read the problem as it is, it's probably going to be confusing because which students are we talking about, which line are we using, which number are we working on, and what total number of students are we going to be focusing on. It's all about technique. And the technique right here is look at the keywords. So on this con conditional probability question, it's asking what is the probability of selecting a student. Now focus on the student and when you talk about the student it means the entire sample space. So your sample space will be 545 and you're being asked about the probability whose favorite sport is skiing and in this case the people or the students who like skiing is 171. In total. So therefore, to answer this conditional probability, it's going to be 171 all over 545. So the technique right here is the first um, event that is being asked in the question would most likely be your sample space. And I'm going to show that on the, pre on the other examples. And I'm using that technique as well. So the, for the second question, what is the probability of selecting a sixth grader? So this is pretty simple because you're just finding the probability of a person being a sixth grader regardless of liking snowboarding, skiing, or skating. So it's just going to be 545, which is the total number of students. That will be your sample space. And the number of sixth grader is 155 in total. So your answer for number two is simply 155 all over 545. And for number three, if the student selected is a seventh grader, so you focus your attention to the total of number total number of students who are in seventh grade and it's 210 so this will be your denominator or your sample space and then the next question or part of the question is what is the probability that the student prefers skating so this is your skating column and the probability of that seventh grader like in skating is 70, so your answer will be 70 out of 210. And that's how we use the technique. So we'll use that technique again for number four. If the student selected prefers snowboarding, snowboarding total 211, this is my sample space. What is the probability that the student is a sixth grader? There are 68 students who are 6th graders, so therefore my probability will be 68 all over 211. And for my last question, if the student selected is an 8th grader, total of 8th grader is 180, so this will be my sample space. And part of the question is, what is the probability that he prefers skiing or skating? And these are the group of students who like skiing and skating. So therefore, your probability, your conditional probability, is 74 plus 47 all over 180. And this is how we use the table in answering conditional probability. It's all about the technique and how you understand the wording of the question. And let's have another example. On our table, we have an SRS or a simple random sample of 100 people who were asked if they smoke. So this is our 100 people, 100 people who got surveyed and asked this question and we tallied it in the form of a table. So they are male and female and their total. Now to answer the first probability or conditional probability question, what is the probability that the individual, so we're talking about individuals, so my sample space will be all the individual, regardless of their gender. And he is a male smoker. And this is your male, and he's smoking. So your probability is 19 
all over 100. And for the second question, what is the probability that the individual, so all individual, it's not asking about whether it's a male or a female, so it's 100 for your sample space, then selected is a male. So the total number of male is 60, so it's simply 60 over 100. And for the third question, what is the probability of a randomly selected individual, so your sample space, again, 100, and this smoking. And in this case, there are 31 of them that smoke, uh, smoking, either male or female, so it's 31 over 100. And for the fourth question, what is the probability of a male, male, 60 in total, so this is your sample, spa sample space, who smokes? So it's 19 out of 60 because of this condition. And for the last question, what is the probability that a selected smoker, so that person should be smoking, so it's 31 for our sample space, and he is a male, and it's 19, so it's 19 out of 31. And that's how you use the table in answering conditional probability. So once again, it's all about reading comprehension, finding the keywords, and using your technique on using the table in answering conditional probability.